I basically had two options, you know, and the first one, if I wanted to continue to be a greyhound trainer, obviously I'd have to move in a state. Yeah, so to move, it'd be a, a huge thing and a, and a, a thing that would take a, a big toll on my family and something that I don't think I'd be prepared to do, you know. And the other thing, if we were lost here in New South Wales, that, that pretty much I'd have to obviously go back to my trade, which I, yeah, I, I finished up four years ago to, to become a professional trainer. And, you know, that, that would be very hard on me because at the end of the day, the, the, I'm, you know, I'm a second generation greyhound person. My father's, you know, been a fantastic trainer for many years and, and um, I absolutely love the greyhounds, you know, and, and to me it's like living a dream every day. I, I, I'd be a lost soul. I, I wouldn't know what to do, you know, honestly with myself. And, but look, I, I'm remaining positive. I don't think that we're going to get to that stage and I think that we'll, we'll beat this, this mongrel of a man for doing this to us. You know, so we'll just be in together, keep going forward, and we'll be too strong, believe me.